The internet played my game and it did not go well. Linked to us by Push. So always interested in why certain games fail because then we can learn from those. And so let's see. I presented my open world game called Nightstones at Steam Next Fest and it did not go so great. Okay. But I've licked my wounds, cried in the shower, and I'm ready to move on with my life. Let's talk about what happened. The game looks good it. though. This is Nightstones Devlog number 10. Let's rage. Looks really good, bro. It's a bit loud. Sorry about that. If you don't know what Nextfest is, it's a week-long event that Should showcases okay. new games that will be released in the next three months. There are thousands of demos to play and millions of hours of live streams to watch. And I was feeling pretty confident before the show. I had 13,000 wish lists, and Nightstones was also 13, in the official okay. trailer of Nextfest. That's okay. rad, right? Then the show started, and I realized those 13,000 wish lists I had worked so hard for ranked me 150th in the most wish listed games. 100, wait. 150th. Well, it's only 13,000, right? It's not that much. I've seen like wish lists of 100,000. So, mm, yeah, 13,000. It's definitely more than I have. <laughs> I don't even have a thousand. <laughs> so, I, don't I can't even talk. 150th in like all of Steam. I mean, 150th in games just being shown at Nextfest. Just the games released in the next three months. Oh, oh, that doesn't look too good. It was at this moment that I realized that 13,000 wish lists just is not that many. This was a terrible and rude awakening for me. Oh, mm -hmm. no. <laughs> With a ranking that low, there was no way <laughs> okay, I was going bro. to get much of any organic traffic at the show. Let's do a quick reality check. I get that 13,000 wish list is a big number, and it's yeah. a dream come true for a lot of indie devs. Yeah, and for me, it would be awesome. If this was a weekend side hustle or a hobby, I'd be slapping hands with the best of them. But yeah. I have a full-time job. I have two little kids. I work Yeah, nights. he looks like that. I work weekends. It's stressful. Yeah. I'm tired. Wah, wah, you. wah, poor me, but I don't yeah. need any more hobbies. I would like this to become a business. Yeah, that would but be awesome. This business is 100%. not going to work if I'm the 150th most popular game to be released in just the next three months. Yeah, Fortunately, I mean, it's a start, Steam but yeah. Each developer to one hour live I want to test something. How long did he work on the game? He seems to be on the 10th devlog. So he's been making devlogs for a while now, it looks like. He's very successful with with his devlogs. Let's see, go to oldest. Oh, I think I even watched this. Making my first open world game. Devlog one, creating a stunning nature for my, oh, wow. So he, I see. No, wait, he got inspired by this game and then tried to make this. So that's a year ago. I don't know, man, this guy is really successful. I don't understand. It's a beautiful game. That category, beautiful, I think, it will be, right? We'll take, take a look. Walking simulator, exploration, RPG cozy. Maybe he should add beautiful. Okay. Interesting. Dream sessions. And during those one hour time periods, Nightstones would be at the very top of next fest. I did my first live stream on the second day of the show and was able to keep about 600 concurrent viewers watching That's the a live lot. stream during That's that a lot. time. That yep. day, I acquired 575 wish lists. Yep. The most wish lists I've ever had in a single day. Mm hmm I did my second live stream on day five of the show, but mm -hmm. by that point, Steam had already removed their next fest coverage from the homepage, which is something I didn't know they would do. So mm -hmm. I was only able to keep about 100 concurrent viewers during my second. Holy shit, that's insane. What this means is if you have a successful game on Steam and you advertise your Twitch there, you could pull in viewers for, from that page as well. That's crazy. I didn't think about that. That's actually a really cool strategy. Now, obviously, you need a game for that, right? <laughs> yeah, but really cool. And it's insane, the difference, right? Front page, 600, and then uh, 100. Still, 100 is a lot, right? But it's a huge difference. Live stream. During all of NextFest, I was able to acquire another 2,500 wish lists, which is awesome, mm -hmm. but yeah. it's just nowhere near what I was hoping for. So what did I learn, and what am I doing about it? Well, the first thing I learned is that I need to expand the audience for my game. And I've begun posting more regularly on other social media mm -hmm. like TikTok, Reddit, and Twitter. Oh, I mean X. My cozy game has no bugs at all. Oh, I see the glider is. I've also begun to reach out mm -hmm. to streamers to try to get them to play the demo. 
And you know you can play the demo for free, right? I'd love it if you checked it out. There's a mm -hmm. Steam link in the description. If I can get streamers to play the game, it's a great opportunity for me to introduce Nightstones to new audiences. Some amazing streamers have already started playing the game, like the amazing Buckeye Bunny. Listen to the music. Now listen what happens when I stop swimming. Ah, uh, so this is cool. So she's actually figured out, no one ever notices this, but the music actually responds to your movement. Do you hear the difference? I hear the difference. I didn't think anyone else did. See, she'll start moving. I wonder how long he's been making games. It's a really yeah, cool, no interesting that, but she aspect. Does. And the slick speaking Hoksu. I like this guy. This is a cool cat. Uh, guys, like guys, he won't, he won't let me play the game. I don't think he, I ever got offered this. But um, you guys know my streams. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I'm a brand risk, brisk, brand risk when it comes to this. I would probably get angry. So, <laughs> I don't think I'll get any of these opportunities. I left that treasure chest. I was hoping people go get get after it. The demo is free. Yeah, yeah, I know. But the uh, chat was asking me if he reached out to me, which no. Just like his voice, you can tell if you met this guy out in the street, just be like the best interaction ever. He's like such a nice guy. Okay, let's get back to my poor performance at Steam Next Fest. Something mm -hmm. else I learned is there were some definite issues in the game itself. Okay. Let's talk about what's new in the demo you can play now versus the demo that was available at yeah, Next Fest. Yeah, so talk about the, the issues. The issue that came up more than yeah. anything was that a single button was used for interact and jump. Oh. This was a choice by me to make the game more approachable and easy. He doesn't say no, he says los, which means let's go. That's wrong. Cakes is a child, she will, bro. But it's clear I made a bad decision here. I yeah. Mean, two buttons doesn't seem overwhelming, and it eliminates that annoying issue where you go to jump a gap. And it's which, are, which are jumps on X, which are three, which I think is a good button. Then you start talking to an NPC. X so and the A demo for uses talking. two buttons now. I also yep. got a lot of feedback about destroying enemies. Players felt it was slow and cumbersome to dispatch enemies the same way you talk to NPCs. So I added what is essentially a sword to the game. And when I say sword, I mean stick. But this mm -hmm. is something you will be able to upgrade as the game progresses. Yeah, that's good. I get that I'm the guy that said there's no combat in Nightstones, but I'm not trying to make my dream game. I'm trying to make yours. And if you want to go full speed through the Oracle's cave, destroying fangweeds, then who am I to stop you? The treasure system has also been revamped because I was doing mm -hmm. stupid things like putting two coins on a treasure chest, which was yeah. just unfulfilling to players. Yeah, and like get you that. get to a chest, so right? And then there's like in Skyrim, then there's just a stupid health potion in there and you're like... Okay, fine. That's why mods treasure exist to make those exist treasure game, chests better. Special. They are hard to get and offer big rewards if you do open them. Five coins is not big rewards, is it? I've sprinkled them around the world. This is cool because it forces you to always be on the lookout while you are exploring. Yeah. And I can tease you with treasures in the tre So like this is a good thing that more developers should know. Hide stuff in the world. It's already there. The world's already there. If it's empty, hide stuff. Create like a maybe little little uh, you know hidden area. Doesn't take long, and then boop, put something in there. Trees, for example, which depends you can't how stuff get costs. Until you True. Acquire the stick. Yeah, boy, you show that tree who's boss. Let's see how the alpha testers are doing with this release. These are the brave souls finding my bugs, so that you don't have to. All right, so this alpha said you can get somewhere <coughs> that you shouldn't be able to get to, and I don't believe them because I never believe any of these alphas. <laughs> and then they. Then they always do it anyway. They don't care that I that I. Yeah, but it's, but it's fine, isn't it? So okay, so he he's gonna get this treasure chest. That's fine. You can see, I put a treasure chest there. Oh, I see. Oh, there okay, so points. you're supposed to so go I there. I know you can get there, but then. Oh, he's gonna. S All right, what's this guy doing? Nice. Oh, he's All walking right. off the edge uh, now. <laughs> see, I didn't believe him, but he's right. So let's talk about why I'm freaking out here. There's a major character in the game that I show on the title screen. And if she's not needed in the game, I leave her in this position because no one can get here. Well, this savvy alpha tester is closing in on her position. And if he can get to her, he can interact with her and learn some things I don't want him learning. Yet. Stop, I don't want anyone to see this. All right, bye. Alphas, you're amazing. Thanks for helping me solve so many issues. Let's get back to game day. <laughs> what the fuck Another is that? Another bit of feedback. That's a I unity bug. Is that players would be sick while playing. 
I really? also saw some complaints about players falling off bridges because the camera is constantly moving. Oh, I, I see. Oh, that's annoying as hell. Because I'm intentionally mm. trying to show you points of interest in the game. Mm. But it's obvious now I was just moving the camera way too much. Oh, demo. So I've really limited the amount of... I see. So he really wanted to show this part here, right? And this guy right here. And then in the new demo, he's like, okay, fine. I'm not going to move it as much, but I'll move it slightly so you... You know that you are supposed to go there. Camera movement in the game. I'm still showing off the world, but with less of a flight simulator feel. Players also felt that the Oracle's cave was too boring and too easy. This was another mm -hmm. mistake of mine. So I've added new mechanics to. Guys, you wanna you wanna hear something? Like compared to the last guy that we watched, that uh, figured out that his art style wasn't good and basically took that as the only lesson learned from the game why it failed. This guy actually takes in the feedback. Uh, I wonder if he has reviews on Steam. You probably don't get any reviews, right? Because you only have a demo version and then the game is not out yet, right? It's not early access. So he, he needs to listen directly to the alpha, uh, alpha testers. So if the game was in early access, right? He would have reviews here and I'm pretty sure he would read those. Because what we figured out with the last game was that while yes, the art style wasn't the best, most of the feedback revolved around the game being too difficult and tedious and clunky. And he didn't go into this at all, which in my opinion was a wasted opportunity to learn. Okay. But he didn't talk it about it in the video. Fun. I've added these okay. electric switches that turn floor panels on or off. Well, that's too this easy. This brings still. a layer of complexity to what I'm calling puzzle combat as uh. you'll need to figure out what switches should be active to make forward progress. I've also added moving platforms to the cave. Okay. I showed this mechanic off in a previous devlog, but I've modified it slightly. If you pass through a moving platforms trail that turns off the switch. If you don't want that to happen, you can always jump over the trail, but I'll make you love to hate this mechanic in the next cave, which will have moving enemies. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyone notice all those rad new particle effects? That cool animation when you swing the stick, the impact particles when you take down a fang weed, the electricity in the platform switches, the daze effects when a player is poisoned. Well, those were all made by the one, the only, the talented Cartoon Coffee. And public apology time, but this dude made this rad video about Nightstones three months ago, and I didn't even see it till this week. Cartoon Coffee, I'm sorry, dude. I love that video, even though you drew me as a one foot tall baby, but I admit I did <coughs> dig the backwards hat. Anyway, this guy's particle effects are all over Nightstones, and a big reason why the game looks so rad. If you want to use these particles in your game, please check out his amazing VFX assets. And if you mm -hmm. want to watch how amazing art gets made, please check out his YouTube channel. I've left cool, links yeah? in the description. That's all I have for today. If you'd like to have fun for free, please check out the Nightstones demo on Steam and wishlist the game while you're there. If you have any ideas about how to make the game better, let me know in the comments below. Buy it, Cakes? Thanks, awesome peeps. It's not pixel art. So there's no point in me buying it. It needs to be pixel art. Cool, very interesting. Cakes, there's feedback in the community hub discussions. Okay. Pinned, Discord. Hey, I'd love y'all to join the Discord. Okay, and then locked. Some feedback. June 3rd, June 2nd. All right, let's see. Some feedback for the game. Thank you for the demo. It's a really nice game. We had a lot of fun testing it. We? Okay. I wonder if that's like a team or something? It was nice to have speed boots almost near the end, but we couldn't enjoy it much because the demo ended. We want more. Some recommendations. The blurry thing should go. How we read, you are on it. Thanks for that. Same thing with the camera. It would be nice to see more in some some corners. It would be nice to have a map. Maybe it's planned, but it would be nice to have it early in the game. It would be nice to have more ward charges. And if, I, if it would not get extinguished in water, or if you change to the stick, it would be nice. It would stay forever. Okay. Like, it's very specific. Anyways, um... I want to take something away from the video because the advice that he learned for his game is very specific to his game, right? I feel like I didn't learn much other than listening to feedback. Basically, what I take away from this is a beautiful 3D game where you can explore and glide around. Seems to be quite popular. The uh, visual effects made the game better. Would have been cool to see uh, the difference between that and maybe the camera, right? But that applies to 3D games. Does Dark Souls do that too? Or Elden Ring? What I noticed was in Anna Londo, right? When I was lost in that uh, library, 
in the library when you walk upstairs you can only like walk straight right so you walk up the stairs and then across across like basically for you in this direction across the the hall right since you're on like the second or third floor i could see you could see the door as you walk up the stairs so basically the camera without like moving the camera on its own will already show you where you have to go like that's something i noticed where i was like okay so that is basically the game telling me what to do and i'm just being too stupid not to see it right 